as, as you could have seen, I'm sure you already watched it since you got to this point, I bought 10 blind bag Batman minifigure packs at the local Lego store. I had the day off, figured I may as well, and, well, they're pretty fun. Um, let's start out. I opened a few before, before I sat down, um, let Ian open a couple, and, well, let's start with one of the least whelming ones, Robin. He's, he's alright. The headpiece with the built-in glasses is pretty cool. The ugly sweater is pretty great. He's kind of bland otherwise, except for the accessory, which is probably one of my favorite Lego pieces now. It's the printed bat shark repellent. Sorry. Uh, one side has a little shark with a little cross through it, and the other side actually just says shark repellent. They managed to fit the word shark repellent on a one-by-one -one cylinder. It's fantastic. Secondly, we have Red Hood, which on the outside looks like the Joker origin Red Hood, but underneath the dome, he has the mask from the more modern uh, Jason Todd Red Hood. From, well, Under the Red Hood. Then we've got Calculator, who is based on, like, the old Calculator, not the modern, like, super tactical genius one. He's just a man with a calculator. He actually has one of the few issues I've had with a collectible minifigure so far. His helmet, as cool as it is, it says, Hello, and calculator speak on it. If you, the visor doesn't lift up. It, like, it doesn't quite click on both sides. It's, it comes off. Like, I know it's supposed to come off, but not this easily. Like, if you lift it up and put it above the head, it just, yeah. Again, it's a minor flaw. If I leave it down, it shouldn't be an issue. We've got... Barbara Gordon, with a really nice hat and hair piece. She also comes with some handcuffs, a little one-by-one -one tile with a bat signal on it, and I have no idea why, but it just has a one-by-one -one plate piece with it. I don't know, I've just been sticking it to the uh, bat signal button, like maybe it's a button. It doesn't explain, not really anything explains it. Next we have Orca, who Ian informs me is a female character, whether you can tell or not. She has that wonderful shark piece from a few back with the, uh, the left shark minifigure, but painted in an orca pattern. The head underneath here is just a tongue. I'm imagining putting that on just any other minifigure, and their head is just a gaping mouth. It'd be great. All right. And now we move into Batman territory, of which I got five. There were five Batmans. Starting with Glamrock Batman, who looks like a member of KISS, except Batman. He even has a Batman bat guitar that looks like a regular guitar. Don't be fooled, it's a bat guitar. Then we have Fairy Princess Batman, who has pink, has pink transparent wings, that new tutu piece in pink, a hat in pink, a transparent pink uh, magic wand, and a very bitter look on his face. Which, let me verify, yep, his headband is also pink. He is not a happy Batman. Let me just say right now. We have, I just woke up and I'm going to eat a whole damn lobster Batman who, well, he's wearing his I Just Woke Up outfit and comes with this nice little printed plate piece with a little piece of lettuce on it. And Pinchy, the little Pinchy Lobster Man, who is a lobster more than a man. He's just a lobster. He's gonna pinch you. Alright. Who else haven't I got to? Oh, yeah. We got Cave Batman, who is like Batman, but from a cave. That's it. He's just a caveman, Batman, man-man. And then, lastly, we've got Catman, who is not actually a Batman. He's got that new utility belt piece in brown, which actually none of the other Batmans came with. 
surprising. That's one of the best new pieces out of the Lego Batman movie sets. Um, he's got little silver claws, little brown Batman hood. Catman's also fantastic because, well, during the Gail Simone run of uh, Secret Six, he actually became a viable character rather than just a joke, as he had been. He's also one of the few uh, bisexual characters in the DC canon. Except for this one. He's just got little rakes for claws. Um, and, last but not least, a whole ton of, you know, the 3x4 collectible minifig tiles. I have a million of these laying around. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If I buy more, I might record more of these. If I got any facts wrong, leave them in the comments. I'm sure I did get facts wrong. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for tuning in, and y'all have a good night.